this vow of judgment. But it would have to be pronounced soon after the attack and actually set forth what was going to happen. It would have to become a matter of national record. And it would have to come true. Did this happen? The amazing answer is yes. In fact, it was the very day after 9-11 when America and the world was traumatized. Most of us missed it. Something significant was happening on Capitol Hill. Something prophetic was happening. America was about to give its official response to the calamity. So this links up with ancient Israel in Isaiah 9 10. One man is chosen to give the response. And that man is the Senate Majority Leader. He's the representative of the Senate. The Senate represents the states and the nation. So he could speak for the nation. The man is Tom Daschle. He gets up to the podium on Capitol Hill the morning after 9 11 and gathered before him is the entire Senate and the entire House of Representatives in a joint session of Congress. He gets up to the podium and he delivers America's response to 9-11. There is a passage in the Bible from Isaiah that I think speaks to all of us at times like this. The bricks have fallen down we will rebuild with dressed stone. The fig trees have been fell, but we will replace them with cedars. He begins reciting the ancient vow of judgment on the floor of Congress on the very day after as part of his presentation of America's response. He again doesn't realize what he's doing, but it is as prophetic. He says it, it becomes part of the annals of Congress. It is actually the rec in the record of Congress that America's response to 9-11 was the exact words that were Israel's words in response to the first warning strike of judgment that happened over two and a half thousand years before. He speaks of the tree that was struck down. He doesn't even realize there's an actual tree that actually was struck down the day before and that's just being discovered that day. He speaks of the replacing of that tree with the Eris tree. He doesn't realize it, but it's going to happen two years later after he says it. He speaks of the stone of judgment or the, the Gazit stone that it's going to go up and it's going to happen three years after he says it. And when he gets to the end of his speech, what he says is that he says, that is what we will do. We will rebuild and we will recover. What was he referring to? When he said that is what we will do, he was referring to Isaiah 9 10. In other words, even though he doesn't know what he's saying, he thinks it's encouraging, he doesn't know what he's saying, but what he says is America will follow the course of ancient Israel, which was the course to national judgment. It sets the course that will determine the future of America and even the world. And it's going to lead to another shaking. The mystery of the harbinger reveals what happens next. If the nation does not heed the first shaking, there will come a second. And so it did. But this shaking didn't involve buildings, but American power itself. It would come as the collapse of the American economy. And behind this collapse would be another stream of ancient biblical mysteries. Some of these ancient mysteries were so precise that they would give the exact 